Live on this contact, you have hotel. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Or ground twin says a 771 Bravo Charlie. Or clearing, or whatever. It says a 771 Bravo Charlie, or around. 771 Bravo Charlie is taxiing out of Skyhaven looking to pick up our clearance. 771 Bravo Charlie, stand by. Uh, the one Bravo Charlie with that routing to Virginia. Uh, I'm going to call Chicago Center and see if that's going to be good for them. Uh, you said you were ready to taxi? Yep, we're ready to go. Princess and one Bravo Charlie. Runway 15, taxi via Alpha Bravo, cross runway 36, hold short runway 15. Runway 15 via Alpha, cross runway 36, we'll hold short of runway 15. Princess and one Bravo Charlie, wind is uh, 190 at 13, gust 26, altimeter 3010. Thank you, one Bravo Charlie does have hotel. Howdy guys, back in one Bravo Charlie again, exiting out. We are going to, what's the name of that place? Uh, Smith. Just one Bravo Charlie, and I have your clearance, so uh, can advise when you're ready to copy. One Bravo Charlie, go ahead. This is not, Twin Tesla 771 Bravo Charlie, clear to the W901 airport, via radar vector, speed tone direct. Maintain 3000, expect 7000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 133.5. Squawk 6223. One Bravo Charlie is cleared to Whiskey 91 via uh, Radar Vector's Piatone Direct. Th maintain 3000, we'll expect 7 within 10. Departure frequency is 133.5. Squawk 6223. Princess and one Bravo Charlie, read back, is correct. Tweet. Smith Mountain Lake. There we go. It's not, uh, not too far from Roanoke. So, we're going to Smith Mountain Lake. We were looking. Jamie typed in like 10 best lakes to visit or something and she found a site and then decided on Virginia because she's never been to Virginia. Yeah, we haven't really gone like straight out east before. I've never stepped foot in the state of Virginia. I heard it's beautiful. Going to Virginia, y'all. Short runway. It's a 3,000 foot runway. So I just didn't top off today. We just put 115 gallons in. So we'll come out of there light and then we'll stop and get gas at a big airport right next door. So we'll finish taxiing out here. We'll do the run up, and then we'll be back. Or Tower Twin says the 771 Bravo Charlie is ready to go runway 15. November 1 Bravo Charlie, fly runway heading. Runway 15, clear for takeoff, wind 200 at 19 gusts 28. Runway heading, runway 15, clear for takeoff. Twin says the 1 Bravo Charlie. See anybody? Archer path looks clean. We will line up on the runway. All right, fix released. Gauges are in the green. Making good fuel flows, airspeed's alive, 70, 90, rotate, grab into the wind, they're coming up. Got embers on. November 1, Bravo Charlie, fly a runway heading. Contact departure, have a good one. 1 Bravo Charlie, switching tonight. Approach runway 1 2. Chicago departure, twin says a 771 Bravo Charlie is off Aurora, climbing out of 1500 for 3000. Top of 493, you can maintain 4000. 
On this 447, contact Chicago Center. Actually, maintain 15,000 now in Chicago Center on 127.62. Robert, Robert Jane Peterson. Good evening, Southwest 1313, maintain 4,000. No longer for 3,000. Southwest 1313, maintain 4,000. 4,000. With 368, your radar contact heading 270. Turn heading uh, 270, Southwest 368. Southwest 258, uh, contact the tower 135.2. 252, Southwest 258, good day. Southwest 493, maintain 3000. Zero Hotel November, contact Gary Tower, good day. Oh, he's got it all. Southwest 1313, heading 290, maintain 6000. 290, 6000, Southwest 493, cross sales at 3,000, clear down to have Yankee 222 left for the speed for now. All right, one more time. Chicago departure, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's climbing out of 2,600 for 3,000 off Aurora. 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago departure, you are radar contact. November 1, Bravo Charlie, maintain 6,000. 1, Bravo Charlie's climbing at 6,000. Look at that, November 1, Bravo Charlie, turn 10 degrees to the left. 1, Bravo Charlie, 10 left. Southwest 368, climb, maintain 13,000. 13,000, Southwest 368. 1 Bravo Charlie, maintain 7,000. 1 Bravo Charlie, climb, at 7,000. Southwest 368, uh. Connect Chicago Center, 133.35. November 1 Bravo Charlie, clear direct to Piatone and Connect Chicago Center, 132.5. 1 Bravo Charlie, direct Piatone, 132.5, by Shane. Chicago Center, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, climb, at 6,400 for 7,000, direct Piatone. 771 Bravo Charlie Chicago Center, KQ altimeter 3015. 3015, 1 Bravo Charlie. Yeah, Lumber 4404, flip the switch 1350735. 20 seconds from the big turn. Yep. Where's, 8 seconds. Where's the ETE for. Uh... Well, I could pull it up, but if you just wait 12 seconds, it'll tell you. It'll auto sequence to the next waypoint. I can't wait that long. Here we go. Just beat 909, cross the yogurt, that maintains 4,000. Here we go. Point more towards the rain. Two hours, 19 minutes. That's not bad to cross five states. No, not bad at all. Convoy 3880, contact Chicago, approach 135.07. Oh, 200 knots, babe. Yeah. Shake the bike. Yeah. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, contact Grissom, approach 123.85. What approach? Grissom. One Bravo Charlie, 123.85, see it. Grissom, approach twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's level at 7,000. Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Grissom, approach at 7,000. Good afternoon, Lafayette altimeter, 3020. 3020, thanks. So the place we picked to stay is um, called Bedford Landing. It's there on the lake. And the runway's there on the lake. It's a single runway type deal. 3,000 foot, I think you said. Yeah. And you just taxi into the, the bed and breakfast right there. They have a hangar and tie downs and everything. It's like right there on the airport. It's like a super cool thing. We should have like organized like a fly-in for there or something because it's really cool. The only thing is it's a large, pretty lodge with like lots of like common areas, like stuff to do, but there's actually only four rooms. I guess it wouldn't be much of a fly-in. <laughs> There's only three other people other than us. Yeah. But, but anyway, um, this couple owns it. Karen and I think Jack, they're like just super nice. We've already like exchanged a bunch of emails and stuff. And they like, she said that Jack's going to, he'll guide you in and tell you where to park. And they have a car at the airport that they let you use. Um, they're just super cute. It's going to be Yeah, that's really, really cool. Awesome. There's like um, a little flying bed and breakfast. There's like a game room and a hot tub. There's like, I mean, we're going to need a car to get to boat. There's a bunch of boat rentals around that lake, but there's not, I don't think there's one that's like right there. So we'll have to get a ride or get a car to get to our, rent our boat and stuff. But she said there's like some restaurants open she can recommend. But as a bed and breakfast, they can only do breakfast. But I heard their breakfast is amazing. Hot, hot and fresh, 8 a.m. Babe, we've got to be down there at 8 a.m. Yeah, we'll tell you guys how it goes. We'll review it on the way back and let you guys know, but we just saw on 4Flight, there was a bunch of pilots that stayed there that had good reviews, so. Yeah. 
He's putting together a little basket for us. 51204, Roger that. Understand, cruising out to 3,500, final cruising out to that is confirming destination, Mary. And she makes little snack bags that you can take, like, out on the lake with you with, like, sandwiches and snacks and water and stuff. That's 51204, Roger that. So cute. The view from the office today. Number 46, Victor, get up on Jack and Amp. So we're coming up on an area that we had planned to go between a couple of lines of weather that weren't really forecasted, but I was at work earlier today and I've been watching these weather build. So if you look here at our IFDs, I got this one set at a 60 mile range and you can see we're going to be right in between these two areas with the really bad stuff off the right. So. In 60 miles, we should be clear for the rest of the way in. This for one's north of, so it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that like north up. See, we know that's a debate in the pilot community, north up or track up. So north is always up there, or whatever your track is is up there. Different folks like it. It's like the debate between high wing, low wing, between Pepsi and Coke, or all the other normally disputed things. This is what she does, guys. She plays on her phone. She sings. She's pretty much always just a good time. Got a little rain hitting the window. I'm trying um, to see if I can text the kid or not. I don't know if y'all can see that. Getting a little, uh... Look, the bug is dissolving right before your eyes. With 225 mile an hour rain. We were right where we wanted to be. It's just updating the weather now. <laughs> in between all the yellow stuff. So, there we go. We made it. We made it through the hole. You can see how bad it looked. But there's our hole. We were successful. I love this thing. Hey, look. Got traffic. Why are you touching my stuff when you, you have your own stuff? Well, because one of them needs to be zoomed in so we can see the traffic. If you're zoomed out, you don't see the traffic. There, you can zoom out, whatever you want. I don't want to be zoomed out. I want to be zoomed in. Oh, I want to be zoomed in. Oh, hell. Get him. Get him. I don't want to. 771 Bravo Charlie, contact in an Apple approach. Control now, frequency 120.65, 20.65. Good evening. 20.651 one Bravo Charlie, good night. He's going to fly up my pants now. Well, you should have killed him. You looked like you were trying to give him a massage or something. What? I didn't want to smear him all over the inside of the window. Oh, my God. I got him now. Gosh. He's dead. Indianapolis approach to Incessant 771 Bravo Charlie level at 7,000. Oh, you do it. Hello, Bravo Charlie. The approach to the Elsevier 301 enter. 3019, thanks. Oh, boob. 4751 golf in the approach. Boom. I found myself in this park. Make mistakes, make a new friends. One margarita, margarita, two margarita, three margarita shots. Hey, senorita, don't think we need salt and a barley salt. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I got songs all day, babe. All day. Every day I do. Every day I'm hustling. Here you go. Man, I still feel like we should climb. Recalculating. We're going 193 knots. You think it's going to be that different at 9,000? It was when I was flight planning. I got the wind flags here. That's the winds at 6. That's the winds at 9. Doesn't really, it doesn't do anything. They're both 35 knots. Oh, but that one over there says it's 45 knots. Let's see if there's any more flags for us. Bro. We should just climb. I know, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot. Don't you ever, like, press that button? And then she'll be like, 1,000 to go. A little more complicated than that, okay? Okay. Well, we can test it out and see what happens. Here we go. Any approach 771 Bravo Charlie requesting 9,000. 
Sir, 771 Bravo Charlie, come and maintain 900,000. 1BC, Clement and 900,000, thanks. All right, here's the deal. We're doing 195 knots. Can you remember that? That did look like a lot of work. I'm not done yet. <laughs> We're doing 195 knots, okay? Okay. Oh, me, oh, my, oh. This is Ohio. 194, babe. Time for my flying socks. We went from 194 knots to 194 knots. Whatever, dude. I haven't given it enough time to let the wind really grab a hold of us. Take us. Columbus, good afternoon, 63 Delta Zulu, 13 descending 11 with the weather, planning a visual. Let's get visual, visual. So since you've been gone, we're talking to Indy Center. Since you've been gone. Sorry. We're halfway across Ohio. Coming up on West Virginia, which by the way is one of the most beautiful states. Frontier 1756 cross Janus at maintain funnel 270. Janus? Maybe you do a good Janus impression. Janus. Oh my god. Jan Lubbock. Are y'all ready for this? I don't think they're ready for this gem. I bought the spear. I bought the little padding things to put on it. It's like boom, 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 boom. It didn't even occur to me because every time I put the visor down, I get yelled at. Well, just when you're doing your makeup, I think it would be cool. That is just fantastic. Good things. You say. She love. She love. Sweet Virginia. Mount Mama. Big Mount. I belong. I really did take her. I think somebody's gonna watch this and like offer me a record deal. All by myself. Bad Again, the wind. Oh, they're now I'm still running. Again, the wind. Another daggum bug. Cruising. Flying with my sister was fun, but it is way more relaxing to fly with you because, you know, you can work the radios, you understand air traffic, you can help me pay attention. I'm not hyperventilating. You're not hyperventilating and freaking out. Just playing Christy. We hired you. <laughs> she was so cute. Take some pictures of this I bet real quick. And uh, snow's here, huh? Is the snow here? Yeah, that snow's on West Virginia. Oh, sure. We're looking at beautiful mountainous along the river just outside of Charleston, West Virginia. Get right down, like along the wing, in front, right in front of the wing, right here. Finally, wow. it is happening to me. If I have my name. Yeah, I got mine. It's just because the sun's going down. Pretty soon. When the sun goes down, we'll be moving. Go down. Feeling all right. Washington Center 1, Bravo, Charlie. If able, we'd like to start down to 7,000. Oh, good talk. Somebody was calling Washington Center, I was going to find. Twin Sessa 1 Bravo Charlie, if able, we'd like to start down to 7,000. Center 1 Bravo Charlie, just going to maintain 7,000. Setting to 7,000, 1 BC, thanks. Going down. Oh. And approach for 1 Bravo Charlie, any chance of lower? 1 Bravo Charlie, uh, lowest I can get you right now is 6,000. We get you lower here in about 10 to 12 miles. If it's okay, uh, we could cancel IFR and just stick with you. VFR, if you give us flight fall until we get it in sight. One Bravo Charlie, Roger, IFR cancellation received. Just maintain this squawk frequency. One Bravo Charlie, Wilco, and uh, any altitude restriction for us now? Nope, you can just maintain VFR. Thank you much, sir. 
Mid Mountain Lake traffic, twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie's 18 miles to the northwest, inbound for landing at Smith Mountain Lake. Uh, that was just a little bit garbled. You said uh, that at the end of 2-3, uh, wind favors 2-3 right now, I take it, and it's uh, on the left? Uh, that's correct. There is no wind right now. It's dead calm. Uh, but if you land on 2-3, we're down at the end of the runway uh, on the left. It's the hangar with the orange and white wind sock. Perfect. Uh, sounds good. Is there a preferred calm wind runway, or does it not matter? Most people use 2-3, but it really doesn't matter. Roger that. We'll use 2-3. Thank you, sir. Nice. That must be the guy we're staying with. I think that's the actual, yeah, the actual owner of the uh, bed and breakfast. That's Jack. Boy, I'm about to be busy, babe. I got a lot to do here. All right. Tell me if you need anything. Tell me what you want. What you really want. Roanoke, uh, 1 Bravo Charlie. We got the field site. We can go ahead and cancel flight following. 1 Bravo Charlie, roger. Squawk B4. Ready to return and change your advisory is approved. 1 Bravo Charlie. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Smith Lake traffic, plus Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is five miles to the northwest. We'll overfly the airport and enter left downwind 23 for Smith Mountain Lake. I'm going to take the autopilot off. It's right here. Right here. I was right there. I was like, yeah, it looks like a really small area. <laughs> Freaking out. Okay. That's better. That was close. Smith Mountain traffic, Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is entering left downwind runway 23 Smith Mountain. That's a nice runway. Looks like brand new. Alright, we got like gas, fuel new. pumps on low, fuels on the mains. I got props set pretty good. Flaps coming out. It's gonna be hard to see this thing coming back around. Ah, we got dark, brand new looking asphalt. Here it coming down. Two or three. Smith Lake traffic, twin Cessna 771 Bravo, Charlie's turn left base, 2-3. Got gear down. Gear down. Gear down. Keep going, babe. It was like... I after see this, After this road, did Oh yeah, there it is. Like houses right there at the end. Smith Lake traffic, Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is turning final for 2 3 Smith Lake. Down just a touch faster than I wanted to, but that was an excellent job. It was just like putting bay, like you had to sink it down right at the last second. That's exactly what you did. It was perfect. And this thing is in the trees. <laughs> this runway is like there he is. Yeah, here. Oh, this place is so cute. Here we are, guys. Welcome to Smith Lake. 
We're excited. We'll see you on a little bit. We just got her parked, tied down, and got her put to bed for the night. This place is so beautiful. It's nestled in these trees. The runway is in great shape. YouTube fam, we're just chilling at the hangar. Kevin's been uh, changing the oil in his truck. We wrote about the y'all. So we got, I didn't tell him this, but he has like oil and like dirt and stuff all over his face. I don't know if you can see that he's like completely, he's like completely covered. I didn't tell him that on purpose. He, he looks funny. Um, anyway. We just, I think y'all just got done watching the uh, Virginia video. Um, I just wanted to take a second to tell y'all that we are like loving all the comments and the likes, the subs. We appreciate you guys so much. Over the last, how long have we been doing this, babe? Uh, a little over two years. So, yeah. Over the last few years, um, people have been mentioning like, like in the comments or like in uh, other YouTubers or vendors and stuff like that. They mentioned it's Patreon thing and that Kevin should like make an account, a Patreon account. And he's always like, no, no, no. But I think he talked to somebody recently who convinced him to do it. So we went ahead and made a Patreon account. And I think you can find the link um, below it in the description. Is it in the description? Yeah, in the description. And I guess, I didn't know anything about it, but I guess if you... If you become like a member of the Patreon account, there's like three levels and the first one is you get like the special pictures and stuff that you post on there. Yeah, pictures and updates are on the first level. I gotta drop down to Jamie's level, which is kinda <laughs> hard to do. Way low. But for the first tier it's you get uh, pictures and updates and the second tier is you get um, we'll do live web chats a couple times a year throughout the year and we'll invite everybody to that. And then the third tier we're going to do giveaways periodically throughout the year. Uh, anything from light speed headsets to uh, 310 Pilot gear, swag, whatever. So He was talking about we have those old visors sitting over there. <laughs> he, was like, he was like maybe somebody wants the, the, the landing indicator. Vis visors, those old janky ones that we finally replaced that everybody was talking about. I was like, maybe somebody wants those visors. But anyway, stuff like that. And um, like, yeah, he just posted uh, recently, like, I don't know, just special pictures that like don't normally make Instagram and stuff like that. We had a um, our anniversary recently, so he posted one of our wedding pictures and stuff like that is on there for for any of the Patreons. I don't know what are they subscribers yeah it's yeah patrons is what pa they call it so patrons. check it out it's www.patreon.com slash 310 pilot or you can check it out on youtube there'll be a link at the top or in the description so if you guys are interested check it out if you're not interested we still appreciate all the support and thank you guys very much absolutely kev doesn't like to talk he likes to downplay it but he he does spend like a, a lot of uh hours working on these videos and and he really appreciate we both really appreciate when when you guys say that you like them or that it inspired you or that you learned something and so um we we definitely feel the love and we appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next video bye bye